Hi everyone, uh, first of all, much over you. Uh, our subject today, uh, tutorial today, is about uh, uh, heat exchangers, uh, especially, uh, especially uh, shell and the tube heat exchanger. Okay, first of all, open your MATLAB, uh, okay, and go to your destination folder from here. Okay, this is your this is my uh, main folder. After download your model, copy it to your working folder and uh, search for go to your uh, destination folder from uh, this path. Okay, and uh, you will find your uh, files uh, contained in the folder. Uh, sort by name and uh, group by type, so you can. Okay, uh, uh, we we have a, we encountered a lecture. Uh, literature before about uh, uh, version one and uh, now we are uh, going to uh, use uh, version number two okay okay this is our main model okay heat exchangers model in this one if you double click here you will find uh, which type you are going to use is it parallel uh, flow uh, counter flow or uh, cross flow heat exchangers and uh, we have uh, shell and tube heat, heat exchangers. So let's go for this one. Uh, you have to remember that we are going to use a, a number of transfer units in NTU method. So this is uh, quite interesting. This is a design model. You can convert your model into a performance if you would like. This is fully editable model. So you can edit it. You can uh, reform it. It's up to your uh, design. Uh, first of all, view, model view, model browser, check all of this. Uh, okay, all of this. Okay, the model is fine. Set your submission time into zero. And let's go for shell and tube. This is your heat exchangers. This is number of transfer units. So, by the knowing of uh, your effectiveness, okay, so you are going to cal calculate number of transfer units and then you will be able to calculate your uh, heat transfer area and design aspects if you would like. Uh, as we demonstrated before, you can just, this is our shell and tube extension, just double click here. Okay, so you will be able to uh, set your, uh, uh, your uh, inputs, main inputs, but I have, a, 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 I would like to copy this one. Okay, let's copy this one and selecting this. Hold shift and copy this one, okay? And control C. Uh, or we can copy this one, okay? Copy this one. Let's copy it, okay? And you can uh, open a new blank model, so you can uh, control your model here. As I'm trying something different. Uh, let's go for model browser. Show model browser, check all of these uh, links, and let's go inside heat exchangers. Okay, suppose I, I, I wouldn't like to use uh, any of these, so I, I would like to remove uh, these three types, just delete and delete this one. Okay, okay, and going inside, okay, going inside here. And I have to remove action port. Okay, delete this one. Let's go up. This is for iterator. So, okay. Um, and then I, I would like to reform this one here. Let's reform this to become uh, shell and uh, tube uh, heat uh, exchanger. Okay. Um, that's fine for the for and I just right click here uh, okay right click on the, uh, the model right click going to the mask and edit mask so we can control some parameters let's go for yes uh, actually we don't need this we don't need this because uh, there is no this is only one heat exchanger model so I have to delete and or you can just make it invisible remove all of this and hit apply okay and if, if you double click here you will find nothing because this is shell and tube heat exchangers uh, let's uh, uh, copy the title here and going to the mask edit mask and 
we can re rename the title okay control v uh shell and tube heat exchanger model this is okay 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 remove this it's just reforming uh type yes type should be uh, shell and tube uh, heat exchangers okay we can okay doing hit apply and okay so uh, we turn this one into a shell and tube zero and going to a simulation uh, um, okay let's go here and variable still okay and that uh, we don't need this we don't need this optimization for optimization uh, uh, diagnostic okay uh, none none and hit apply and okay and save we can rename this as uh, shell uh, uh, shell and tube uh, heat exchanger uh, underscore okay so this is shell and tube heat exchanger and save this one okay so now we uh, we have uh, uh, only one model shell and tube let's remove this okay okay i would like to emphasize this because uh, let's organize our model i'm trying to organize this one okay there is no need for this now uh, we can delete this one and we can put this one here and let's emphasize this one okay shell and the tube heat exchanger model is ready for uh, run uh, let's uh, change your format font style okay let, let it be uh, to TIFF. okay let it be more okay okay so let's uh, go over here okay for size a little bit okay this is our main model we prepared we created a new one now and so um, uh, again for my shadow okay double click now we are going to uh, to uh, create a case a special case for example so i need to input some parameters uh, let it be um, uh, suppose i have a, a cooling water cooling side water it's variable from 25 up to 40 degrees Celsius and we have heating steam it's about uh, for example from 200 we can change this you can change this if you would like in order to uh, inspect your effect and uh, I will show you how can we um, change the variable uh, with respect to the time with respect to the uh, to uh, transient domain or um, matrix uh, input technique for cooling side we have to assign some uh, a flow rate what is your flow rate uh, suppose i have uh, for cooling side a uh, flow rate type we need um, we have water cooling side water heat transfer oil for cooling air cooling side ammonia flow gases and we can add more if you would like we can add more uh, for working flows methane propane it's up to your uh, you can add this one okay let's go for cooling cooling water and for heating side we have hot water hot transfer uh, heat transfer oil but in hot uh, properties conditions air heating side uh, the steam ammonia flow gases but hot flow okay let's go for steam vapor okay so we have a steam vapor okay heat exchanger efficiency um, normally heat exchanges it's between um, considering fouling factor considering uh, fouling factor effect so we'll go, we are we can talk about 50 uh, percent up to 0 0.8 0 0.75 something like this let's begin from uh, 0 0.5 and i would uh, and we're going to examine and inspect this uh, for uh, side uh, cooling side flow rate suppose i have uh, let's begin from uh, five uh, kilogram per second i suppose the range is, is too much so suppose i would like to change the range let's go for the mask and edit mask uh, parameters emphasize okay 
let's go for uh, flow rate it's kilogram yes cooling flow rate this is minimum uh, range and this is your maximum range suppose i would like to uh, no more than 50 kilogram per second okay and for uh, hot side flow rate no more than uh, uh, 50 kilogram per second okay and hit ok and see so if you double click here you will find the, the range has been decreased okay as you can see here so suppose i have a uh, cooling side it's five kilogram per second and hot side is uh, suppose it's let's begin from 10 and um, for overall heat transfer coefficient for overall heat transfer coefficient in this model i would like to examine the effect of, of overall heat transfer coefficient not to calculate it so suppose for water to water it's about from 800 up to 1070 and for let's go here okay for steam condenser uh, it's between uh, one kilowatt up to six kilowatt uh, per meter square uh, degree Celsius. So uh, be sure that your range was in between 1000 and 6000 watt. So, so I, I would like to uh, set it as a medium range. And I would like, I intended to examine the effect with respect to the time, especially with this one. Uh, and see, uh, let's begin from uh, 2500 and see okay number of passes there's passes inside your heat exchangers what is your number of passes one two three or you can enter your uh, as a matrix you can enter it as a matrix one step one up to five passes for example it's up to you uh, suppose i have one pass uh, what is your buffer if you have a buffers this is your uh, buffers as you can see here uh, okay let's hit apply okay is this your buffers in order to transfer heat uh, increase your transfer heat area so uh, how many buffers you are going to use suppose i have uh, uh, let's begin from 30 buffers okay uh pitch ratio what is your pitch ratio okay uh, normally between this from 1 up to 2.5 suppose i have i will keep this one because this is um, uh, we can study the effect of this one too okay what is your tube length uh suppose i have uh, 7.5 meters okay inside tube diameter outside tube diameter okay what is your inside tube diameter and outside tube diameter uh, is it uh, the pitch layout is it square is like this one or triangle like this one uh, most or for most uh, common uses it should be triangle okay let it be triangle one okay i hit apply and okay and let's go inside saving okay let's see we need to discover for this is your properties based on each case is it uh, for hot side and each case for cold side okay we need to to discover the following i'm sorry i, I would like to uh okay let it be uh yes let's saving and hit run I, I need to discover the following what is your cooling water uh, temperature if you would like to send this to data inspector you have to click here okay this is a, a tco means t cooling water outlet degree celsius okay and this one is uh, 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 maximum heat capacitance so we, we need to send this to data inspector so just to click here and go send this to uh, a data inspector i would like to inspect this one and minimum also that's you, you can click here or or just highlight the signal and uh, click here and uh, this is hot see hot we need to discover this one also and see cold we need to discover this one okay and uh, let's go for okay for hot side what is your uh, uh, Q in kilowatt heat rejection thermal power okay outlet uh, hot stream degrees Celsius we need this one okay and uh, let it be I think we need to discover yes this 
we need to calculate the following highlight all and send to data inspector okay we need to discover what is your shell cross area uh, uh, total uh, uh, heat exchanger area okay number of tubes you are going to use uh, shell diameter effective diameter number of transfer unit uh, flow velocity uh, pressure uh, drop across the, uh, the shell and the tube saving let's hit run and see i hope it can will uh, work fine it seems good and we we'll have to wait okay okay based on our uh, uh, design inputs we we find the following outlet cooling water temperature it's about 60 degrees celsius so i need to remember uh, my uh, temperatures okay uh, so cooling water uh, temperature was 30 degrees Celsius and hot side temperature is it's about 200 degrees Celsius and this is your mass flow rates okay under such uh, uh, design inputs we have to calculate the following to get the following uh, degrees outlet uh, temperature uh, is, is increased outlet cooling temperature is has increased from um, 30 degrees Celsius up to 60.4 and this is minimum capacitance, C minimum and maximum capacitance. Okay, this is minimum and maximum. Okay, and we have here uh, outlet, uh, hot water side. It has the temperature has been dropped from uh, 200 degrees Celsius down to uh, uh, 115 degrees Celsius. Let's go for uh, area. This is your shell cross area. Okay, this is shell cross area, and this is uh, heat exchanger area. L I would like to do the following. Okay, let's do this. Okay, and for this one. Okay, so this is shell area. It's about five one four uh, square meter. Number of uh, tubes should be uh, twenty three. Uh, the shell diameter is very important 0.5 uh, effective diameter number of transfer unit is 0.9 okay flow velocity uh, pressure drop okay in in pascal uh, uh, this is uh, in the shell okay uh, in the total pressure drop okay so suppose i would like to change this with respect to the time domain let's change this with respect to the time domain so suppose i would like to uh, let's go here preparing our uh, main main uh, not this one i think this one yes this one okay let's go inside if you can if you change this you will find uh, let's go for uh, 40 degrees celsius cooling water uh, 250 for example this is 5.5 .5, okay this is 11.1 i'm sorry for example okay and let's uh, this is 30 uh, 35 something like this okay let's go inside here uh -huh. and let's hit run saving okay this is the first method it's just a manual method uh, you can enter your value uh, uh, point by point and you will get your results okay this is your code if you double click here this is your code that organizing your uh, model okay uh, suppose I would like to change this uh, um, with respect to the time domain uh, surely it, it would be manually but with respect to the time uh, let's set set our submission time into infinity okay saving and uh, let's go here double clicking i'm sorry not this one this one i'm sorry this is a okay let's close this one there's no meaning for this yes uh, double clicking and okay let's go inside yes i would like to change this with respect to the infinity of time not a specific time just infinity of time um okay set your solution time into infinity hit run and 
the counter will begin and we have to change this uh, by your uh, arrows in your keyboard okay let's hit run preparing our menu okay suppose i would like to change increase the temperature increasing cooling temperature okay will increase the outlet cooling temperature as well let's decrease it a little bit let's decrease it down to okay you realize this if you increase the cooling water it has a massive effect what about decreasing the steam flow rate decreasing the steam flow rate will decrease also the uh, the cooling water outlet okay okay let's let's for overall heat transfer coefficients i am trying to increase this one increasing overall heat transfer coefficients okay increasing it has effect on your area okay uh, what about effectiveness let's increase effectiveness uh, heat exchanger effectiveness let's increase it up to uh, a certain value um, yes increasing effectiveness will affect on the area and temperature and this is your timer counter okay let's increase up to 0.7 for example okay increasing increasing uh, cooling water flow rate let's increase the cooling water flow rate it will decrease the cooling water outlet as I think yes increasing increasing cooling water flow rate yes okay we'll drop your hot uh, side temperature that's okay stop let's go inside data inspector saving let's go inside uh, that so this is uh, uh, fastly and uh, a fast, fast technique to uh, to see the effect. Uh, let's go. This is outlet temperature up and down because uh, I am I, I increase the temperature and decrease the flow rate and and so on. Uh, so this is C cold, okay. Uh, and this is C maximum, uh, C minimum, okay. As you can realize the difference, uh, number of tubes changing. There is no effect on temperature number. I think the flow rate and overall heat transfer coefficient number of tubes. And let's add more slots. Okay. Uh, the uh, diameter, uh, effective diameter, number of transfer units. This is your number of transfer units. Okay. And uh, area, heat exchanger area, shell area. Uh, normal yes this is heat exchanger it increased uh, thermal power okay let's let's put a hot outlet temperature this is hot outlet temperature uh, I'm sorry no, this is for Q uh, beside cooling water uh, temperature okay as you can see uh, uh, hot side and cooling side so this is a, a fast method in order to feel the change of something I would like to feel the change of one parameter, so I will. I intended to change the temperature in order to see the effect on uh, the other design parameter or, or your output results. Okay, this is one method. Suppose I would like to make another method. Let's delete all. Delete all. Closing. Okay. Suppose I have a, 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 another idea with respect to the time zero set your simulation time into zero i'm just giving you ideas about uh, and let's save this one let's save this one and let it be a dynamic version another uh, saving let it be dynamic version suppose i would like let's go for this one uh, going to the mask edit mask okay i will uh, reform all of these sliders to uh, 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 edit so I can edit my uh, parameters here uh, let's go for uh, I think let's inspect uh, for example uh, uh, mass flow rate effectiveness let it be okay effectiveness I think uh, cooling water uh, maybe uh, cooling water let's or overall transfer let's go and make it edit and for uh, I, I will co I will convert all to edit let's convert all to edit okay let's convert all to edit 
yes and keep this heat exchanger effectiveness added also cooling side mass flow rate added and hot side mass flow rate added okay tube pitch ratio no effect i think okay hit apply okay and okay now i can edit this by myself so suppose i would like to enter a matrix for example let's go for a cooling side temperature let it be varying uh, from uh, let's enter a specific value 20 degrees celsius 25 30 uh, 30 35 uh, 40 enough five values enough five values and for heating side suppose it's just one uh, one degree one uh, uh, parameter okay for effectiveness suppose i have a 0 uh, 0 0.7 75 mass flow rate so if you enter this as a five value you have to enter this as a five values let's begin with five okay and for this one 11 overall heat transfer coefficient let it be three thousands what number of passes one pass buffer 30 pitch ratio tube lens i keep this as it was okay if you hit uh, okay uh, saving let's go inside let's go inside and saving and hit run you will discover five results as you can see here okay you will discover the following you will find i'm sorry uh, let's saving let's go out yes i'm sorry i have to wait a little bit Yes, outlet temperature. If you you find five values for outlet cooling temperature, and uh, as you can see here. But I would like to send this uh, data to. Uh, uh, let's return it back. Okay. I would like to send this data to a workspace in order to draw something. Therefore, you have to do the following: select to uh, sync. Uh, to workspace uh, option drag and drop and uh, this one this is cooling water temperature and mm, this is uh, okay you can s rename it T cooling out and it is array um, okay array it apply okay this is hot output uh, let's go for um, C minimum and C maximum. Okay, let's. Okay, this is another method. Uh, this is C minimum array. Drag and drop here. Okay, another one. This is another technique. Uh, this is C maximum, C um, maximum. Okay, and let's go for uh, uh, energy, thermal power. Okay, this one should be uh, Q heat exchanger. Okay, hit apply and uh, out hot water temperature. T hot out, T hot out. Okay, and uh, we need, uh, of course, we need the area and let it be area, total area, total heat exchanger area, area of heat exchanger number of tubes uh, also needed uh, number of tubes number of tubes i think and heat transfer uh, number of transfer unit also important number of transfer unit ntu okay the rest there is no problem with the rest okay i think this is enough okay saving and hit run okay let's go for uh, for workspace i think yes this is our results number of transfer units and uh, let's see this one i think plot oh I, i'm sorry i have to uh, for q this one is is an array not a structure okay array I apply okay let's go here 
Okay, number of transfer units. Click, just click and plot. Uh, it remains constant. Okay, no effect. A number of tubes. No effect of temperature. Uh, C maximum. No effect. Uh, I think area of heat exchanger. No effect. Okay. So we need what is about this one? Uh, outlet cooling uh, temperature. Uh, I'm sorry. Suppose I would like to remove this. I will try. Uh, Control X. Saving. And hit run. Okay, let's go here. Yes. Uh, no need for 4 iterator. Okay. 4 Q. This is your Q. Varying. Number of transfer units. Constant. Outlet temperature. As you can see here. Uh, hot temperature. Okay. Uh, suppose I would like to draw this and study the effect. Let's let's draw something. Let's do something. Okay. Uh, let's go for here. Data inspector and uh, okay. Let's add another uh, uh, slots. Let's add another slots. Okay. And this one should be a white background. Let's add, for example, uh, six slots is enough. And the, this one, I'm preparing the environment, okay? Preparing uh, our environment. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, let's add data for the first one. Suppose I would like to affect, uh, we change the, the cooling water temperature. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to uh, refer here and which... Uh, Let's double click. Any cooling temperature. It's, it was any cooling. I'm studying the effect of any cooling water, water temperature. So, any cooling water temperature, T cooling out. This is your axis. And um, suppose I would like the area. Okay. No effect on the area. Okay. Let's remove because it's just point. No effect on the area. So, suppose I would like to. A study on C max, okay. Okay, no effect. I'm sorry, delete. Uh, uh, let me go here. Okay, Q, we have Q and on hot. Okay, only Q and hot. Let's go here and add with Q. With Q, okay. Okay, this is your effect of increasing your cooling water temperature would decrease uh, the thermal power. And for the second one, uh, let's go for hot water temperature. Yes, this is the effect of you increased uh, uh, the cooling water temperature. This is the outlet hot water temperature should be varying uh, like this. Okay, another thing, let's go for, uh, let's see, change another parameter. Suppose I have a specific value. Suppose it was uh, 30 degrees Celsius. And the effectiveness, that what is effective? Yes, I will enter a different values. I think there's a, a huge variation here. Uh, let's go for 0 0.5, 0 0.55, 0 0.6, 0 0.65, 0 0.7. Okay, 0 0.75. Okay, uh, let's hit apply. This is effectiveness. Okay. Saving and hit run. Okay, there is. A, I'm sorry, there is a problem here. Uh, maybe we should enter a space. Okay, let it be a single value. Okay, let it be single value. Okay, double clicking. Okay, uh, we inspected at uh, 0 0.7. Let's go for 0 0.65, for example. And hit run. Hit run. Okay, let's go here and uh, draw another one. This is with Q. Uh, Q has changed it. And for T hot, uh, let's hit apply. Okay, change it. So I, I need to, to write here hold on. Hold on in order to keep. Uh, the effect, the old effect was no change. 
so this effectiveness let's go for 0 0.7 okay and saving and hit run okay let's go inside here and um, let's add data this is for Q for Q I think this one for the hot out Oh, there is no change. Maybe I have to change this. Uh, let it be 0 0.55. And hit run. Okay. Uh, this is Q. Uh, this one. Yes. Q. Yes, there is a change, but I, I need to fit to uh, to fix the change here. I anti hold out. Yes, it's changing, but I, I would like to fix the change. Let's let's delete all of this and I try to make it another one. Okay, let's go here and. Um, I'm sorry, there is. I forget. Oh, I forget. I forget. We have to change this because it's one value. I, I, I forget to enter as a matrix uh, 30. I'm sorry, uh, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, uh, 45. That's enough. And let's begin with 0 0.5. Okay, hit apply. Okay, and saving, hit run. Okay, going here, this is my queue, or hot outlet temperature, okay, and this is my queue. This is my queue. Okay, uh, let's hold on. And let's begin back again. Uh, this is, uh, uh, yes at 0 0.65 effectiveness i would like to realize the change i'm sorry saving and hit run okay let's go here this one is a uh, hot temperature okay hot temperature yes uh, and this one is q let's begin with q okay as you can see here, there is a difference between uh, this is the first run uh, at effectiveness uh, 0.5, and if we increase the effectiveness, you realize the following: this is uh, this is a massive drop in uh, outlet hot water temperature. So you can realize this. Let's you can of course change. This is the first run. You can make it with red. The second run we can make it with uh, blue you can increase the uh, time i'm sorry the line thickness the line thickness should be increased and okay so increasing let's make another one let's make another one uh, suppose i have here uh, effectiveness 0 0.7 hit apply saving and hit run Okay, let's go here. Add another one. This is outlet hot water temperature. Okay, this is the last one. And here, a Q. Okay, so increasing this one, uh, let's uh, change this one for. Uh, okay, this is your third run. And surely you can do the following hold shift and uh, you can add something like this increase uh, the size you can edit your figure if you would like uh, okay okay suppose I would like to change uh, to add another change I'm sorry there's no meaning for this okay uh, suppose I realize that um, let's go back to the figure let's go back to the okay at uh the high temperature rate I, as i think so uh the outlet hot water temperature 
is so we need lower to lower or cooling water temperature we need to lower the cooling water temperature so suppose i i would like to from this value i will pick 30 degrees celsius okay and let's go for overall heat transfer coefficients and effectiveness is quite to be quite obvious to to, to leave it as higher high values surely let's go for uh, effect uh, heat transfer coefficients let's begin from 1000 what 2000 3000 4000 or 5000 and, and that's that's enough that's enough oh, fi okay 500 and let's hit apply and okay okay uh, hit run and see okay i'm sorry i have to add a 48 liter here as i think maybe this one okay there's a uh, okay in the code okay i have to keep this one as, as a single value uh, this okay let it be uh okay i have a better idea we can do the same we can do the same uh let's remove this one uh, we can in, you examine at 1000 and at the same effect 20 25 30 35 40 uh, 45 okay uh, hit run at 1000 at 1000 saving okay let's go in here um, let's uh, uh, examine of uh, mass flow rate. I should examine the mass flow rate so, as well, uh, as I think. Okay, outlet. Yes, we need to examine the mass flow rate. I, I think examining the mass flow rate should be considered. Let's examine the mass flow rate. Uh, for example, let it be um, from. One kilogram per second, two, three, four, five. Okay, six values. This is six values, and this one, I think, yes, it should be the same. Should be the same. Okay, and saving. Okay, let's go here and trying to add more values. Uh, let me show. Let me discover how yes okay uh, and yes this one at q for example okay this is at 1000 let's go here and the change let's see changes for uh, 2000 okay let apply i think we realize the difference oh no effect no effect okay no effect on this one uh, for let's go for um, uh, hot water temperature let's go for hot water temperature i think we need to change uh, hot water temperature as well or mass flow rate of the steam uh, let it be uh, uh, for example 11 12 13 14 15 16 i think this also six values okay saving hit run yes we need to uh, add another value as you think or just one single value oh okay this contradiction with the, with the code therefore we need to add single value for this one and a matrix for this one okay for hot let it be uh, suppose i have this one is 30 and uh, let's change this one for example from 100 step 10 uh, i'm sorry for 100 step 5 up to uh, 250 under these uh, operative conditions okay saving let's see this one for the effect of hot water hot steam let's let's see uh, yes only on the cooling water and okay 
and this is one we can add this uh, hot water temperature effect on Q yes let it be here at 1000 I think the area should be affected by <clears throat> the effectiveness of let it be 3000 the effect of this should be on the area not on uh, the temperature or, or, or on the Q okay hit run yes uh, this one I think add, add here okay no effect of overall transfer on the Q okay the effect on the area okay let's try another method different method let's we have different method uh, let's go here okay uh, let's try uh, input our signal by data inspector it's completely different uh, matter uh, let's go here okay so we don't need this we don't need this one okay let's I I would like to remove okay removing 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 okay and this one also should be removed okay using data inspector with signal builder okay for this reason I have to uh, change my inputs what is your uh, flow rate okay I need to uh, change my flow rate let it be uh, I think I have to remove this let's go here searching for sources and uh, before doing this I have to check yes I, sh I should remove this one I should remove this one as I think yes I have to remove it let's remove this one oh okay okay I'll, I'll keep it let's go inside uh, data inspector here for sources and uh, we need this one okay so I will control this uh, uh, automatically by let's go here and control X put it here and com comment it there's no effect okay so this one is out of order okay and we can call this uh, M hot side and this one also control X put it here and this one should be uh, M cooling I'm sorry this is M cooling and this one is M M hot okay uh, we need to change also the temperature effectiveness what is the effectiveness if we if we change uh, the effectiveness I think keep effectiveness as a constant value we need to change uh, temperature yes hot temperature and cooling water side temperature control X put it here okay and comment it so I comment it because uh, uh, there's no effect if I change try to change the values here uh, there is no effect as no effect anymore because I, I comment it here okay and let's see drag and drop yeah we can put it here and this one is cooling water temperature also this one I'm sorry control X and put it here here and commit it and okay this is T hot uh, T hot okay so we have four parameters to control let's go up here outside here and go into the mask edit mask okay apply okay so we need to send these values out outlet uh, I'll copy hold shift and and select control C go outside control V so I will uh, try to okay this is T, t hot okay and T cold okay and uh, solid for hot side mass full rate for cool, cooling side and go outside here now we are going to control from the signal builder uh, I will create my own signal so I have to create 
four signals uh, I this one I can't see I will not, not be able to see so I will uh, comment this image okay comment this image okay I'm sorry uh, do the following so okay we have M cooling M hot and T and T so suppose I would like to let's add uh, overall heat transfer coefficient as I think we can add overall heat transfer coefficient it will affect on the area is this one overall heat transfer coefficient let's put it here and uh, we bring another signal for outside okay it has an effect on your, your heat transfer area so this one should be U okay control C go outside here and now we add this one uh, let's emphasize control V and select all right click and arrange match size okay uh, cooling temperature uh, hot side okay and overall heat transfer coefficient okay hold shift right click here formatting font style okay now we have to go outside here and we need to create our signals suppose you have a system okay suppose you have a system and we need to create a signal with respect to a, a specific uh, let's go for this one for example we need to set our simulation time suppose i have uh, let's go here simulation time temperature varying so from 30 degrees celsius or 25 uh, for example up to uh, for example 45 okay this is our mean varying temperature varying you, you can make it considering your overall heat transfer coefficient if you would like so i double clicking here the axis it should be the same time is from 25 to uh, 45 Let's apply okay so this the first signal so should be custom signal let's go for uh, cooling side temperature it is uh, uh, let it be from uh, to 25 step uh, step 5 for example up to uh, 45 okay or step 1 step 1 up to 45 uh, the, I'm sorry this is your time series it is from 25 yes step 1 45 uh, okay close this one and put it here uh, yes closing okay I'm sorry I have to remove this one uh, let's delete this one so the first this is my my first signal should be a T cooling water inlet okay let's add another one for new uh, let it be condenser for example a hot side temperature we need hot side temperature we need five values so uh, for this one for this signal uh, just click and uh, you can uh, I'm sorry replace with custom uh, our time domain are the same this is my time domain or oh, you can change it if you'd like Let's uh, we need five uh, okay uh, from uh, five values you can add five values 25 30 35 uh, 40 uh, 45 and we, we should add the same dimension uh, let's begin from 200 uh, 210 220 230 uh, 240 for example and this is a variation of your hot uh, temperature increasing hot temperature 
Okay, let's add another signal, new signal. Uh, uh, we can rename this. We should rename this. Uh, it should be uh, T N. Okay, signal number, another signal, uh, new signal, custom signal. Uh, I think, uh, let me, I, which one? Yes, mass flow rate. Mass flow rate. We need mass flow rate. Calling for mass flow rate, yes, and outside. So we need signal, a uh, new signal, custom signal uh, from uh, let's the same, the same dimension 25, 30, 35, 40, uh, 45. Uh, I see, okay. We need five values one kilogram per second, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's enough. Okay, this is in cooling. In cooling, okay. We need signal another signal, a new signal, custom is the same. Also, uh, we need to add uh, let it be hot side uh, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, and uh, 14. And close this one, okay. And overall heat transfer coefficient. Let's add more signal. The last one. Um, within the same domain, we need five values. Suppose we have one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, and five thousand watts. Okay, this is a new one. So this one should be a, a hot site, hot. Okay, and this one is overall heat transfer coefficient U. Okay, let's save. And closing, you can change the index if you would like. Uh, for, uh, yes, let's uh, change the index for this one. Uh, M cooling should be index number one, M hot should be uh, index number two, and the rest is fine. Let's inspect. Yes, this is M cooling and hot uh, T cooling. T hot N on overall heat transfer. You can do this with only one parameter and change the effect. Uh, saving and run. Let's run our main model. Okay, going to the data inspector and see. Let's inspect. Uh, this is our last value. Yes, last run. Outly cooling to water temperature. Surely, uh, we know this is C cold. Okay, and C uh, hot, C uh, maximum, C uh, minimum, uh, area, cross sectional area, heat exchanger area, number of tubes, okay, uh, number of heat transfer units, okay, uh, yes, a Q, okay, as you can see. The effect of increasing your uh, design parameter on your system is uh, clearly obvious here based on your uh, uh, varying your uh, parameters. So you can also affect, uh, design, uh, design your model based on only one effect. Suppose you would like to uh, inspect just one value, okay? Just one value. Suppose I have the following. Uh, I, I will uh, close this one. Let's go inside here. I'm sorry. Let's go inside. Suppose I would like to change um, mass flow rate. Let it be. Uh, I think mass flow. Yes, this one is. Let's go here. I'm sorry. This run is at effectiveness of what? Point seven. Suppose I have effectiveness of. 0 0.5 uh, uh, at apply okay saving and hit run okay time okay let's go inside here data inspector yes so this is the current run let's go for uh, area of yes this is area at lower effectiveness this is lower effectiveness I think yes this one and a heat exchanger area area is decreased because we decrease the effectiveness number of uh, I'm sorry 
I'm sorry, it's just... Uh, uh, where is my run? The last run. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, this one. Number of tubes. Number of heat transfer unit. Okay, and Q. Okay, as you can see, here's the difference. Suppose I have, uh, let's close this one. Suppose I have effectiveness uh, of, um, uh, let it be 0 0.6. I'm sorry. Uh, 0 0.6. Okay, hit apply. And let's go inside here. And hit run. And okay, let's go return back to data inspector. And uh, yes, the, the, the last run, we need this one. This uh, cross sectional, uh, yes, shell area between this uh, seven, 70%, 60%, 50%. And this one is heat exchanger area, yes, the number of uh, tubes number of heat transfer unit and uh, Q yes obvious yes yes uh, okay uh, let's see cl clear let's see clear delete all okay you can examine number of buffers if you run this one let's make a, a run and I think number of buffers it's about uh, okay let's uh, draw some figures for example, let it be uh, something like this, number of transfer units or area. Yes, this is area and number of transfer units. This is flow velocity. And uh, C minimum and C maximum. And uh, uh, let it be Q. Suppose I would like to uh, change the buffer up to um, 50 what is the effect I would I think the effect on the area I think effect should be on the area let's go inside yes this is one here yeah, this is a area of your heat exchanger no effect on area cross sectional area as I think uh, number of tubes I think it was number of tubes of, let's go for this one and let's remove C minimum and add number of tubes and for the second one number of tubes no effect on I think cross sectional area cross sectional area as I think uh, this one yes on the cross sectional area buffer has um, another effect also you can start this one um, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our models. Don't forget to uh, like, uh, share, uh, and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.